four NSFAS service providers have been at the center of a payment debacle. Now, NSFAS administrator Freeman Nomvalo says the scheme has initiated a process to terminate their contracts. Some students have expressed concern about delays in receiving their allowance payments. There will be resistance uh, to the papers we filed, I anticipate. Um, unfortunately, we are not in the best um, position we can be. You've got an irregular arrangement in place, but this irregular arrangement is also causing problems to students. The disruptions in some of the Tibet colleges has been as a direct result of the current service providers' work. Some might claim that in the areas where they are operating there hasn't been problems, but I'm making a statement that there has been problems in some of the institutions as a result of the current arrangement. So there is no reason for us to stay with the current arrangement. It's also costly. So there will be legal costs. We've got to figure out our way with the authorizers from a budget point of view.